in the Getty Museum is The Ransom by John Millais. This painting shows a 16th century knight paying a ransom in return for his two daughters. You can see one captor holding a bag full of money. The other is holding on tight to one hand of each girl. Everyone, including the dog, has their eyes focused on the scene. The knight is handing over the precious jewels while the two girls squeeze themselves into the safe chest of their father. When I was looking at this painting, a story from Venezuela came to my mind. In this story, a young girl was kidnapped and the ransom requested was $10 million. Now you can imagine the worry that was within the heart of the parents. Now just say a man called the father and said, I've got some good news. Your daughter's been kidnapped. They want $10 million. I think I can get you another girl and this one will only cost you 50,000. Do you think the father would be interested? Well, no. Why? He doesn't just want a girl, he wants his girl. Sometimes we think that because God has billions of people, we don't really matter. The Bible says, you are bought with a price. In the world of art, the value of an object is dependent on how much someone is willing to pay. For instance, Malay tried to sell this painting, The Ransom, for a thousand pounds, but no one wanted it. Now it's housed in one of the most famous museums in the world and it's worth literally millions of dollars. So what did God pay to ransom you? Peter wrote, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ. God paid the highest price imaginable, not silver or gold, but the precious blood of Christ. Your price was his life. What is God worth? A million, a billion, a trillion. In God's view, his worth is the same as your worth. So what's the key message of this painting? You are priceless. <laughs>